you know little Wayne from the very this beginning. Wayne is probably the most influential rapper of all time. Because I felt like nobody was ever going to be as big as Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne has spent most of his life in the spotlight as one of the biggest and best rappers that the world has ever seen. Since the age of 11, Wayne has been a contracted musician, enjoying a steadily thriving journey in the industry. As part of the renowned Southern rap ensemble, The Hot Boys, he distinguished himself as an exceptional artist, showcasing remarkable skills. Embarking on his solo path, he marked the beginning of his solo career with the release of the platinum-selling debut album titled The Block Is Hot. The Block Is Hot. Hot, man. The, next week? Next week I'll be 15. The black is hot, man. From there, it has pretty much been one win after another, except for his prison time on Rikers Island in 2010. While he was locked up, his superstar underlings Drake and Nicki Minaj did more than enough to keep his legacy alive. However, people were still doubting whether or not Wayne would be able to reclaim his throne. Once he got released, he immediately got back to work on The Carter Four, an album that would place him back on top of the rap game with a slew of hit singles such as Six Foot, Seven Foot, How to Love, and She Will. Yet it would be another song that really resonated with the people on a deep level, Mirror. While Mirror is a departure from Lil Wayne's typical gritty narratives, it maintains his depth of lyricism and introspection. He is known for his unique style of songwriting. Instead of writing his lyrics down, he typically constructs his songs directly in the recording booth, a technique known as punching in. This improvisational method involves recording lines or small sections of the song separately, often freestyling and allowing the lyrics to flow naturally. For a song as introspective as Mirror, Wayne tapped into personal experiences and emotions when crafting these verses. The primary theme in the song is self-reflection, as suggested by the title itself. The song's lyrics offer for a candid, introspective look into Lil Wayne's life and psyche. The mirror is a metaphor for self-reflection, a tool that doesn't distort reality, but reveals it as it is. Another dominant theme in the track is the exploration of personal struggle and pain. Lil Wayne opens up about the trials he's faced and the anguish they've caused. The lyrics, I see the truth in your lies, I see nobody by your side, but I'm with you when you're all alone, express his loneliness and emotional turmoil. Despite his success, Lil Wayne reveals the personal demons he's faced, giving fans a glimpse into the man behind the music. Having been on a 23-hour lockdown for almost a year, Wayne had a lot of time to self-reflect away from the madness of the music industry and life in general. The song also deals with the pursuit of identity and self-understanding. Lil Wayne's lyrics explore his journey of self-discovery, battling inner demons, embracing individuality, and evolving as an artist and a person. At the heart of Mirror lies a hip-hop beat characterized by its simplistic yet powerful rhythm. The beat, underpinned by a deep driving bass drum and accented by a unique snare, lays a very solid foundation for the track. It provides a steady rhythm that guides the flow of Lil Wayne's rap verses and Bruno Mars's chorus, creating a pulsating heartbeat that drives the song forward. The rhythm serves a highly essential purpose. It maintains a consistent tempo that allows Lil Wayne's lyrics and flow to take center stage. This approach is common in hip-hop, where the beat often plays a supportive rather than a dominant role. Although the beat is fairly simple, it provides a hypnotic atmosphere that is both spread out and direct. It is the perfect backdrop to support the scenery of the thoughts in Lil Wayne's head. The choral melody that plays throughout is another critical element of the song's production. This melody brings a profound emotional depth to the track, setting the tone for the introspective narrative. It is melancholic yet hopeful, resonating with the themes of struggle, introspection, and resilience expressed in the lyrics. The bridge of the song features a beat drop, where the drum beats take a back seat, allowing the melody to take the foreground. This change in dynamics provides a moment of reflection and creates a build-up to the song's final chorus, a perfect musical choice that gives the listener a sense of restraint and release which can be quite euphoric. Another important element of this song that isn't directly connected to the beat is Bruno's vocals. His contributions to Mirror not only enhance the song's appeal, but also add a layer of soulful resonance that heightens its introspective narrative. Bruno Mars's vocals are characteristically powerful and emotive. His soulful voice complements the melancholic undertone of the song, adding depth to its introspective nature. The range is notably showcased in the chorus where he effortlessly transitions from mid to high registers. His clear, melodic voice stands as a striking contrast to Lil Wayne's rap verses, creating a dynamic relationship that doubles down on the song's emotional impact. 
It underscores his vocal prowess by adding a heartfelt sincerity that resonates with listeners. His delivery of the lines, Mirror on the wall, here we are again, through my rise and fall, you've been my only friend, is filled with tangible emotion, effectively conveying the song's theme of self-reflection and inner turmoil. The music video was released in 2011 and is a great accompanying element for the song's highly introspective themes of self-reflection and self-identification. It opens with Lil Wayne in a room surrounded by large white canvases. This could symbolize a blank slate, indicating that Wayne is starting from scratch, beginning a journey of self-reflection and discovery. As the song progresses, Wayne begins to paint on the canvases, which represent his life and experiences. His paintbrush is the medium through which he expresses his journey. Throughout the video, Wayne paints a large mural of himself on the canvas, symbolic of his quest for self-understanding and his struggle with his public and personal identities. The paint is red, possibly symbolizing his internal struggles, the bloodshed and violence he's seen, and his passion. Furthermore, the blood represents his gang affiliation, which is further cemented by the numerous gang signs that he throws up throughout the video. There is also a moment when Wayne is seen with his shirt off, revealing several tattoos. The tattoos are another form of self-expression, each marking an event, memory, and symbolism that represents his own personal identity. It shows the permanence of his experiences and how they have shaped him, just like the mural he paints. Throughout the scenes, you also get imagery that loosely relates to Jesus during the time of his crucifixion. Wayne's arms are seen stretched out at times with red paint dripping from his hands, symbolizing blood. This concept becomes even more apparent when the final result of the mural is revealed at the end of the video. Instead of a cross, his arms are stretched out across a line of musical notes, with a mic in one hand and a red bandana in the other hand. It becomes apparent that this is meant to symbolize the fact that Wayne has been crucified for his music and his lifestyle. Based on the self-reflective nature of the song and its lyrics, one is encouraged to believe that the crucifixion and negative emotions and thoughts that are expressed are mostly self-inflicted and something he consciously chose to feel and go through. Bruno Mars, meanwhile, acts as a contrasting figure to Lil Wayne's angst and anger. He stands in front of the mural, singing the chorus, which could represent a more peaceful or clear sense of self in contrast to Wayne's struggle. He too has red paint on his hands, symbolizing that he has faults and self-doubts of his own. Also, since the paint is related to Lil Wayne's mural, it could symbolize Bruno being a representation of the people that also have done their part in painting and feeding Wayne's image. So this shows us that not only is Wayne a product of his own thoughts and actions, but he is also a product of the perpetuated image that the public has made for him. He is constantly being pulled between his own self-identity and public perception, which can also be another reason why both of his arms are stretched out. The song was a commercial success and reached number 16 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Its popularity likely helped solidify Lil Wayne's status as a versatile artist capable of producing both party anthems and thoughtful music. It was a blend of rap and pop, and this kind of genre mixing became increasingly popular in the years following the song's release. This shows that it influenced other artists to explore more introspective themes and a wider musical range in their music. The success of the song showed that audiences were receptive to such themes, which could be deeply personal and vulnerable. There are multiple reasons why it was a successful track. It was a track that saw two superstars from different musical genres collaborate. But more than that, it was a deeply introspective song that resonated with listeners and brought out a different side of Lil Wayne, especially considering the context of his career and personal life at that time. The track tapped into universal themes of self-reflection, introspection, and the struggle for self-identity, resonating with a broad spectrum of listeners. The lyrics echoed the sentiment of looking within oneself to understand personal truths and grapple with one's image. This introspective theme likely resonated with many people who struggle with self-esteem, self-identity, and personal growth, making it a relatable song across various demographics. In an era when many rap songs were primarily about external issues and outward projections of success, Mirror took a different path by focusing on internal struggles, which was quite impactful. This shows us that when we take a look in the mirror and reflect, we too can receive success in our own right.